All right, man, there you go, cornbread. What an awesome clip. Wow, that was from a live performance. Well done, well done, man. And uh, listen, this is, this is one of those rare moments, have to be where our next guest uh, means more to me um, than just the music that they put out and, right. and the movement that they created through the music and through the culture. But I love this particular person because the messaging has been consistent since the 90s. He's mm. always been an artist who wanted to uplift, inform, feed people with um, his words, um, enlightenment, you know, um, gems, um, his perspective in ways that he has utilized his knowledge to improve his life, which I got a chance to see him evolve from a teenage, Heather B. Mm. Uh, I met him and his family back in the 90s. And um, his family warmly received me and allowed me into their home. So this is in the Bay? This is in the Bay. Okay. And they used to live in um, Vacaville, right? Vacaville, California. His beautiful uh, sister is one of the first people I ever got into a serious relationship with. And this is how I met him. Okay. You know, and from there, we all became family. And it was at a time when the Wake Up Show uh, was on the rise as well. We're talking early 90s. And so he had an opportunity to witness the the rise of the Wake Up Show. Nice. And as King Tech and I, at that time, the other crew members that was a part of the Wake Up Show created this platform that gave a lot of exposure to independent artists, you know, and it was a type of artist that we focused on. First song we ever played was Live at the Barbecue by Nas. Ooh. Okay, we had Jay-Z, all these different artists, Wu-Tang Clan, who were proving themselves at that time. This was the platform to go on to. Since then, that show grown. And he has grown. And um, he has become a father. You know, he has a whole tribe to himself that he has been raising as a single father. He's an incredible human being. I watched him work his, his ass off to create his own platforms to make sure that he pursued his own dreams. And in 2024, he got new music that he's putting out right now. Um, he got a new album called Natural Intelligence. Yes. Right. And uh, we're going to be talking with him right now. We talked about him a little bit when Mad Lib came up here. Right. And we talked about his early beginnings because, oh, no, his brother and, and this man, Cornbread, and all of these guys were a member of a group called Cali Wow. Right? Yep, and yep, now yep, he's yep. stepping out on his solo. He has been doing this for a while. Please welcome Cornbread, a.k.a. Sean yes. Riley. Thank you. Welcome, Ooh, welcome, show. welcome, welcome. Oh. Sound like it's overdue. God, it is. <laughs> It is, man. Mm. I, I owe him for all the meals his family gave me when I Yo, was young Yo, you just and have been consistent. <laughs> like, you have really right. just been taking a fork across the country and just eating yeah. everywhere you go. Yo, I really was, though, right? <laughs> you remember them days? What I remember you? them days, yep. You were younger, good, good man. You were like a teenager. You were a young, young 17. guy. 17. 17, you were 17 18. years eight of mm -hmm. age, right? What do you recall about that time when this stranger came into your home? <laughs> <laughs> Freeloaded. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was that... Man, it was a good time back then because, man, we was freestyling all the time. Mm -hmm. It was just hip-hop was just, man, it still is everyday thing, but back then it was just, that energy was a, was alive and well. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. And then yeah. you had access to the radio show and, the, and so in with the artists. How did that stuff influence you? Because we were just working, and I'm like, come on. And yeah. I don't even remember how I was. Was I mean? No, nah, nah. no. Nah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Greedy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though, man? Thinking back, man, it was like, I always wanted to show you that, you know what I'm saying, I was really true to this culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I wasn't just trying to, to ride your coattails or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to kind of be around you like that, but I wanted to show you that what we was doing was was authentic. Yeah, and it was. So. And, 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 and you know it's authentic because you're still doing it. Yeah. It, w it wasn't a farce. It wasn't an act, right? It's in me, not on me. It's in me, not on me. Who? What's some of the <laughs> moments you remember from that time that kept you inspired to this time? Oh, going to the wake up show. Okay. Uh -huh. um, what, what, do you remember any particular episodes that you can that you got to witness? Um, not offhand, but uh -huh. just that time in general. Yeah. Because after we would go to the wake up show or do stuff like that, you know, Cali Wild, me and Jay, we'd go back writing. Mm -hmm. freestyling all day all night mm -hmm. and then we just started putting music together real music yeah yeah with oh no with oh no yeah which is mad lib's little brother yeah man and then what did mad lib used to say to y'all back there oh uh, he was you know, i didn't really talk to him that much he's a recluse i guess you could say yeah yeah he i'd was... see him every now and again but it was like oh yeah yeah 
Yeah, he was like that then, man. <laughs> that dude was consistent. So, yeah, I, I mainly was, it was me, Oh No, J Deuce. We was just making music just all the time. Uh-huh. I would fly from Oakland to Oxnard, uh-huh. stay the weekend, do like 12 songs, fly back, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So we got like thousands of, thousands of albums. Wow, man. <laughs> and he was doing this on his own. Did you ever get, um, you stay motivated, man. And I look at a lot of the work you've done. We just played a song featuring Sadat X and Lord Jamal from Brand Nubians. These were your heroes growing up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. That's a yeah. round of applause for yeah. that, man. Yeah. yeah. Enough respect to that, him. How did that happen? This is COVID. That album is the Breath of Fresh Air album. I did that during COVID. Okay. And that's how I met my brother, Earth Seven. Okay. But. During COVID, I was just I was gathering beats, making songs, and just hitting people up mm-hmm. and see if they wanted to work. And those brothers was down to work. They were down to work. I'm curious for you because in that song you talk about, um, you say something like, "My light is still, br- my light is still bright, even though I have people attacking me left and right." You say something like that in that that lyric. Oh yeah, that yeah. was. <laughs> Who were attacking you? I ain't even gonna say. I was just going through it, you know, just some some grown man stuff. Just going through some stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. that was around the time of my divorce and all that. So I was married for about fifteen years. So. Okay, okay, so yeah, yeah. I don't even want to get into that, nah. but it was that stuff. It was that stuff. Yeah, but but it's interesting how that stuff. Yeah, you needed to write about it yeah. though. It had oh, to yeah. come out in some type of way or form, and that, and that's good, you know. Um, yeah any way an artist can express themselves in a positive way i mean he didn't go deep 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 into it but you got to touch on it it definitely has to affect you as an artist and as a person as well after 15 years i'm always curious that that long with someone how do people decide divorce you know after 15 years with somebody but i'm glad you found a way to put it in your music yeah and there's a song on that album the breath of fresh air album called what love is Mm. so if you listen to that that pretty much explains what I was dealing with. Well, what is love to you? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? (laughs) He said, look, even after 15 years, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm figuring it out. (laughs) You know, yeah, I I don't know. Love, I think you see it in the face of those beautiful kids you got. Absolutely. There it is. How many children you got now, man? Four. Four beautiful kids, man. man. They ain't little no more. They eat. How, How old are they now? Got a twenty-one year old, mm-hmm. eighteen, yeah, sixteen, and thirteen. So mm-hmm. everybody eating. They like you, uh, Sway. When you was coming around, they eating. Yeah, yeah well, hungry. Just like you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yo, let me talk. Yeah. Shout out to the Riley family, Mrs. Riley, yes, <laughs> Mr. Yes, Riley. Uh, my they pops, fed me uh, for years, yo. That's what is that? Seven Up Cake or what is it that thing? Oh yeah, yeah, Seven yeah. Up Cake. Wow, wow. Oh, man, I don't remember. What'd you bring? Me. <laughs> <laughs> your appetite. They used to enjoy me over there. You think your parents enjoy me, bro? All the time, man. They yeah. to this day, I'm friends. I'm talk to his parents more than talk to him. <laughs> wow, you could have been a son-in-law and I his brother-in-law. I yeah. was on my way. I was on my way. Yeah, yeah, I was almost there, Heather. But you know, young Swiggity. All right, we won't go into that. <laughs> so you're glad y'all just alike. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> so, so now it's 2024, right? Yes. Uh, you, you, you put out a lot of music. I got a chance to watch you open up for some of the biggest acts in hip hop, man. Speak about that, bro. That was a blessing. I opened up for KRS One, uh-huh. mm-hmm. Cool G, Rap. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Urge was with me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. With the last one we did was Slick Rick. You opened up for Slick Rick. Slick wow. Rick. Do you get a chance to talk with them at all? Did anybody leave you with a gym? Sometimes. I opened up for Rakim, too. Okay. Wow. And I spoke to Rakim. I even showed him what I was doing. Uh-huh. I still got to get at him and, and give him one, too. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that one, he, you know, we briefly talked. Yeah. But that one, that one right there, him and KRS-One was the ones that, that... What did Chris say to you? You know, Heather, that's Heather come from that I lineage. Know. You know, that's Heather <laughs> The B. Edutainment album, I remember you yeah. on that Edutainment that album. I used to listen to that album all well, the time. Right? That ain't Heather. <laughs> I remember Urge. That ain't Heather. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Respect, dude. Yeah. But uh, I recorded what he said. He, he gave a message to my daughters, actually. What did he say? Telling them to don't worry about looking outside of yourself he was telling them to to pay attention to who they are and just continue to shine bright as an individual don't worry about chasing this that and the other just do what you got to do and you're gonna you know manifest what you need to manifest 
along those lines. Mm -hmm. That's interesting because early this morning, Sway, Torch, and I were having a conversation about the father and daughter dynamic, Mm. you know, and how important that it is. Because Sway was like, you know, I don't think people realize how girls need their fathers, women need their fathers. But as an artist yourself, how do you kind of juggle all of that because you do have shows you do have to spend time writing i'm not sure if you do a job you know quote unquote nine to five um in the midst of all of that how do you parent in the midst of that as well even though they're they're young teenagers and young adults now um i just i just make it happen because i'm actually a construction working a welder Mm -hmm. so i do that i do music and i'm there with them so i try to incorporate them in the things that i do take them to shows Mm -hmm. and I like to just give them their specific time because during that whole situation that I went through that's when I really learned how to to listen to women they keep stressing listen I don't need you to solve everything just listen Mm -hmm. so I learned that and that's what I do with my daughters I just listen to them let them cry on my shoulder take them where they want to take them I mean you know what I'm saying yeah I'm just there that's all I can say I'm just being there I yeah. like that too. Sean T, you agree with that? That men should just learn how to listen to women? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Way to way to put in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it might not add vice versa. It's a two way street, right? Uh-huh. We have to yeah. listen to men as well. I mean, you guys have yes. a, that was part of the conversation this morning. This is you true. know? Listening, right? Yeah. Uh some of my strongest deci- best decisions I made in relationships, not just uh, intimate ones, professional, so on and so forth, is we get people think we get paid to talk. But when mm-hmm. you become a master of it, you're really getting paid to listen. Amen. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, and sometimes uh, what you don't say is more powerful than what you're trying to say. Yeah. Right? What are you trying to say now? When you say <laughs> natural intelligence, what is the difference between, is it is that a knock on AI? No, no. Well, kind of, yeah. Okay. All right. Because back in the 90s, you remember this. Mm-hmm. I was on my spiritual enlightenment thing. You know how everybody's all woke and stuff nowadays. Well, I was going through that in, yeah. what, 93, 94? 94, he showed up at me and King Tech's house. <laughs> okay. He, he, You brought it up. I wasn't oh, going to bring it up. Man. He was on a spiritual journey. Okay. Cornbread was on a spiritual <laughs> Kinda journey. Kind of like what Buddy was talking about <laughs> yesterday Buddy, or what, deeper? What, what, what Buddy was talking about. Yeah, okay. Uh, in his spiritual journey, he decided that he didn't need to eat solid foods. He was going to live off the sun rays and water alone. Oh, so wow. he came to our house. <laughs> <laughs> and for like seven days, he's at Key Tech in my house. And every day, Tech would get up, hey, dude, is he okay? Are we going to have to call my ambulance? And I was like, nah, let him go do it. <laughs> you know what, though? I felt so alive during that time. You said this. I felt so alive. I could, everything was clear. Yeah. And it was like I had foresight beyond foresight. Mm-hmm. Which brings me to this. I, I looked at artificial intelligence is fake intelligence. Mm-hmm. So natural intelligence is real intelligence. It's what we all have within us anyway. Mm-hmm. So everything that the computers are doing and this artificial stuff is doing is what we naturally can do. Mm-hmm. We just haven't been we just haven't been utilizing our brains because we're looking outside of ourselves all the time. But once we stop and look within it's so much that we can can develop mentally, and I think that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I love Coming that. Coming together mentally, being on one common chord. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think? Evan? I want to get back to the fainting because I don't know if you fainted or not when you was that way in the house. You saw this dude. Man. It was how many nah, days without? I can't even remember. I do. <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> because Sean Cornbread is like my little brother. Right. I'm just total transparency. Right. And I, I might, I think I'm hard on him like a big brother. Right. I have been, but now we're grown as men. You could, I, you could joke I gotta, about it. Yeah, I yeah, could joke could about it. it. Like he's yeah. like a big brother to me now. So, so it was so. just water and sun. Water and Pretty sun. Much. I didn't. I didn't trust nothing. He didn't eat nothing. I didn't. I didn't trust. For how many days? I recall about seven. <laughs> And by the fourth one, Adrian, this is at the tar- the, the Tarzana house. He's at the Tarzana house eating sun rays. Like, I felt good. Yogi. Yo. But when did you crack? Like, when did you say, I need a, a, um, a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or something? <laughs> I mean, let's let's keep it a keep buck. It <laughs> you had to crack. I mean, I would I was into juicing back then. 
got it. Yeah. So I, you know, drink the celery juices and all that type of stuff. But it wasn't until I became a construction worker that I was like, all right, I need to eat. You got yeah, you yeah. Need some strength on yeah. you. Yeah. I need to eat. Yeah, them jackhammers weigh what, 110 pounds. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I, I had to put that muscle you back see on. So yeah, you so. see his guns now. That yeah. Ain't, that ain't from sun rays. <laughs> Nah, a lot of meat in that body. One thing I realized at that point too in my life, you could be spiritual, but you could take things too far. Yeah. I didn't want to. I was becoming a spirit. You know, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, everything is a balance. Yeah, so now balance. my life is balanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool, man. We're going to come back. We got Cornbread is here. The new album is Natural, Natural Intelligence. Intelligence. Tell me about this coin you have. It's so right cool. Here. All right, I make these myself, right? I, used, hold, I was hold I, them up while you talk too, oh, okay. so you got a camera on you. You know, all right. So you know, you know, you hear about people and their complaints about Spotify and all the stuff taking people's monies and whatnot. I don't want to complain, so I'm like, all right, whatever. If if that's what's happening, we need to bring it back to like I remember the '90s. We were selling CDs and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This generation doesn't have that experience, but everybody's on their phone doing this. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give people the the experience we had of going hand to hand, but you can still scan it and do the technology so it's old school and new school together it's a hybrid yeah right? and so the only but the only place people could get your album is how on the coin it's it's not online it's not none of that it's, a, it's private so once you scan it it's a private site just for you so people have to be you have to hand them the coin or they could go to your website yeah, and you get go it? to instagram right now which is a cornbread of cali wild cali with a k Cornbread underscore of uh, yeah. underscore Cali Wild. Yes, ma'am. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Hit me up there, or you can hit Urge 7 up, and yeah, I'll mail it to you. Or if you see me around, I just, it's hand-to-hand -hand right now. Cornbread underscore of underscore Cali Wild, and you spell Cali, K-A-L-I-W-I-L-D. Yes, We're going to come back, man. If you get especially independent artists, you have questions for him, 888-742-3345. Yeah. We got Cornbread of Cali Wild here. Yeah. Natural Intelligence. That's the new album? Yes. What's, what's the name of that song right there? That's Natural Intelligence. Cornbread of Cali Wild. Title is, track. That's title the title track. track of his new album. If you want to pick up his music, which is really interesting, and I love listening to my man write. I love to see where his mind is at, mm -hmm. where his spirit is at. Um, follow him at Cornbread, like it sounds, underscore of, underscore Cali Wild, K-A-L-I. W I L D. We yep. got Tyler on from South Carolina. What up, Ty? What up, Tyler? How you what doing? Up, what up, guys? How y'all doing? doing? Excellent. Great. How about yourself? I'm doing great. You know something? I'm I'm actually driving my mom's Jeep right now. I don't have serious, but whenever I do, I gotta listen this way. There so, you go, my man Tyler. I, I, man. I, 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 yeah, for real, for real. I'll keep it real. Um, I'm listening to Cornbread, man, and it's like it's actually so refreshing to hear a popular hip hop artist talk about spirituality because it, it, it feels. And I'm a white man, too, so I'm just going to go ahead. It feels like the black majority of males are uncomfortable talking about that. But this shit's spitting mm. bars, man. I'm listening to this. I'm like, what in the fuck am I listening to? <laughs> He's talking about cameras out of the eyes. It's so true. This man, if, if you've listened to one thing from some random person in your entire life, listen to this. Go read and listen to Alan Watts, my friend. Cornbread. Oh, yeah. Everything yeah. that we've ever created is a product of our body, is a product of our mind, our spirit, our soul. And I just Absolutely. thank you for capitalizing that in the song, man. Wow. Tyler was you. fired up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah, you, you touched Ain't Tyler bars. right there, boy. All right. Hey, Tyler, thank you for that. Make th make sure you support him. You're a super citizen, Let's brother. Let's wait in the morning. Alan, Alan oh, Wilson yeah, Watts. Alan Watts. Yeah, yeah, Alan, the English writer? Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, Alan Watts, yeah. Writer. English writer, yeah, yeah. philosopher, man. But he was, he was on a spiritual quest for a long time, too. Thank you, brother. We appreciate you, Tyler. What did you mean by the cameras, the, the eyes or the cameras? And what, well, what kind of things can you enlighten us on that people not thinking about that's right there in front of us? Well, like he was saying, it's a reflection. All this artificial stuff is a reflection of the human body. Mm -hmm. So the computer, your brain is a computer. Mm -hmm. That's an artificial brain. Your eyes, you know, mm -hmm. the cameras on your phone is artificial eyes. Mm -hmm. We also have, a, a you know, the third eye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm that has rods and cones in it just like your eyes, you mm -hmm. know, and so on and so forth. Our the, cars the, are the like horses. Penile gland. Uh, yeah, pen, yep. Speak on it, man. I, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, those are, but see, those are the things that we need to pay attention to to, to help evolve us as a people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't even matter if you're black or white. Mm -hmm. you, was, you were walking barefooted back then, too. 
Yeah, because, I mean, grounded. to stay in touch with the earth, to stay grounded, yeah, mm-hmm. that's real. I'm rocking copper right now, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And copper does. I mean, it's got so many different beautiful healing things. Look it up. I don't want to be putting it out there. Oh, okay. Look it up for you scared, huh? <laughs> 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 you got a drill job for nah. kids. I get it. Nah. <laughs> you can Not speak scared. on it, man. It's factual. Man. You didn't write right. this stuff up. You didn't make right. this up. Yeah, no. Nah. There's a reason why you wear copper. Yeah, I mean, and, and all this stuff is to enhance us as a people. Yes. Knowledge, information. Mm-hmm. Copper has healing properties to it. There you go. You can look that up, yeah. right? I love it, man. Now you keep mentioning your brother over here. What's it? Urge. Urge seven. Urge seven is a Compton legend. You know, okay. I, you you come across people who you know they like rapping all that, but there's certain people that you know. You know what I'm saying? And like, I've been doing this for a long time. This brother been doing it for a long time. Well, when I met Urge earlier, he mentioned Urge. Go ahead, have a seat, man. We need you to have a seat, brother. You don't have to put nothing up. Just just come have a seat, brother. So get in front of that mic, man. Um, and he mentioned that he 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 came up listening to the world famous Wake Up Show when we was on ninety two point three to be mm-hmm. <laughs> right, and used yeah. to hear all them fire ass ciphers that used to happen every weekend, all them banging ass artists yeah. that used to come up there. And you know, we was giving everybody opportunity. Incredible, right. incredible, and it's it's a dream come true just to be sitting in this chair across from you, dog. I can't even believe it. Like if I, if I was asleep and somebody woke me up, I would beat that. I'd be like, bro, why you? Waiting? I was just with Sway. What you doing? Like oh. <laughs> it's crazy. Like if it was a dream. I wouldn't even I wouldn't want to wake up but like nah man yeah I've, I've been down from the start man Compton vet you know grew up in the same neighborhood you know um, in the same apartment building Jujima Village where Dre and them was and wow. used to go to skate land and I watched Cube when he was in the group CIA uh-huh. you know when he was just a dancer you uh-huh. know and, uh, and Battle Cat and the guys was back there all, all of that yeah. man and it was funny because DJ Pooh <clears throat> come on man come on vets mm-hmm. I went to school in a in a Crip neighborhood. Okay. And then and then uh when I graduated, my mom, she couldn't come do the paperwork stuff, single parent. So they just shipped my records like straight up El Segundo from Willowbrook Junior High to Centennial Junior High. Now I'm at an all blood school. Okay. So it's like Skate Land is in the neighborhood, you know, a lot of Crip couldn't go up there because it's a blood area. So like yeah. I got a chance to just see, you know, a lot of the people that a lot of the groups that came to Skate Land early on, mm-hmm. you know, I, because I went to Centennial, I didn't I wasn't necessarily a Crip or a blood, but people knew me from a Crip area, but now I was in a blood area. Yeah. But it was like I was able to still go to Skate Land, do those, Eve after dark, and see these people when they were like so you saw Ice Cube before N.W.A. Man, with a curl, dancing on stage. People would not have believed it. Like really dancing on stage at Skateland, you uh-huh. know. And, and uh, <laughs> when uh, when Beastie Boys dropped their joint, uh-huh. and CIA dropped their joint, uh-huh. Compton and Effect dropped their joint. It was kind of based on the same type of you know rap style and all of that. But this was just a records out of Compton. I, I, it's a lot of history, man. I pressed up my my albums at the same place where Easy E did, uh-huh. you know, in El Segundo with Bill Smith before he closed. It's just like crazy. I used to go down there to pick up our vinyl, and we used to see NWA's vinyl, like, and see people roofless, and uh-huh. it was just like it's a lot of history, man. So to be sitting right here and to come this far, K Day and Power, and to see everything, how everything went with this hip hop, yeah. P Diddy on the plane, this is bananas. Bro. There you go, man. Bananas, and give that man a round of applause. He's yeah. living the dream. Yes. Yeah, he said, yeah. "Don't wake him up. Yeah, Come no, on, yeah. please, please don't." <laughs> If, if, you I'm manif- sleeping, if I'm sleeping, let me sleep. Nah, yeah. you awake. This yeah. is what, you manifested this. Yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's, you it's, manifested it's, this. It's, it's crazy how we don't think of that, though, in our lives, man. Yeah. When we when you put something out into the universe, especially when you speak it, believe it, it's going to come back yeah. like a boomerang. Amen. It's, it's going to come back like a boomerang. And yeah. write it down. Yes, sir. And Absolute, look in the mirror yeah. yes, and say it to yourself in you your do. own face. You do. You have, to, you you have to tell say yourself. It. You have right. to tell and yourself. You have to hear yourself say it. Right. In due time, it will come to fruition. I'm a billionaire. I tell Sway every day. Yeah, man. Treat what me I as just, such. Didn't me I too. just tell you that this morning yeah. in the car? I said, man, you said we was going to see Sway. Now we see seeing Sway. Say we got a million dollars. Well, so that's we my email. My email <laughs> address is Cornbread doing? Billionaire. Yeah, that's and crazy. Gmail. Wow. Crazy, man. There you go. And Billy talking right in the building. These These are are the Billy's right here. here. Billionaires. You know what I'm saying? Surrounded by billionaires, man. What the hell? We were just able to have Cornbread in a film. We just did a movie, Bang Bang Betty. And, um,. Cornbread, I was able to get him to actually come star in the film, so that was a you know it's a big deal. The movie's now up at Amazon Prime. It's up at uh, Tubi TV. Bang Bang Betty. And, uh, yes, Cornbread stars is one of the bad guys in that, and it's, it was a trip too because he's so humble, man. As a person, you you don't think you know you don't you hear about stories about people, but you don't think it's people that's that humble, like somebody that you're recording with that you know and you're having a relationship with, a business relationship, and you tell them like, yo, man, got some people that might you know you doing a movie. 
you know, and most people, you know, you don't, you know, people movie. This dude was like, yeah, man, it's whatever, you know, just like super nonchalant. Yeah, yeah, he's you been me, like that since, you, I, I, I since couldn't he was under, eating sun I couldn't rays. understand it. I'm like, it's a movie. <laughs> he's like, he's that's, like yeah. look, bro, I just show up. I'm not really an actor like that, but I show up and do whatever you need me to do. Urge, what, where you where you get your wow. name from? Spell your name. My name is U R G and the number seven. In, okay. the, in the Bible, they'll tell you, mm -hmm. you know, God created man in his own image. Therefore, you are God. Take the alphanumeric A, B, C, D, E, F, G. G. That'll take you to the seven. Urge seven. seven. Woo, right. that was Urge ill right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. My Sway, God. where you get your name from? Sway, uh, you know, to influence, to direct, and to <laughs> control. <laughs> now, back in the day, I would, used to dance, and the way I moved right. my hips, the Sway. ladies used to say, Damn, he got sway. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, man. Exactly. I started him seeing, and I put it to the, you know, I started him seeing like urge that. after that. Yeah, I like go. that, though. Yeah, yeah. I could have yeah. been a chocolate Chippendale, but I chose hip hop. A chocolate yeah. Chippendale? <laughs> that sound bad for I you. <laughs> so I tell you, I chose hip hop, you know, over Chippendales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all ready to do this? Let's go. Oh, yeah. Just the way you heard it back in the 90s, Urge oh, 7. Man. Okay, just the oh, way man. you witnessed it back oh, in man. the 90s, Cornbread. Nah, you know where guns. you are. Yeah, huh? Guns. No, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah you know where oh, you are. Yeah. Urge 7 is about yeah. to spit, too. Why don't you switch seats with Heaven Yeah, I'm going to give you my chair. Hold on. Okay, go Word, ahead. Girl. And while he do that, I got DJ Zanti from Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. She gonna rock the turntables for y'all. She Memphis. gonna curate this session we about to do right here. Jean T, what you gonna play for him? I got some Dilla for him. Ooh! Oh. Throw that Ooh. Dilla on. Let's go, Cornbread. You first to rock. Welcome to the Valley of the Hyenas! Oh, here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, peace to Dilla first off. Here we go. All right. You ready, Urge? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna start with this one. Yo. Check it. Yo, I peep the motion of a man, woman, and child. While I pay close attention to how they sway. Text be used in a crime with no delay. Then they smoke two L, say it's cool, so then they light another J, brother. In the bay, it's laid back, so I catch rectangling MCs with one rap. My words around your mind like your skull around your mind. I ain't paying your dues, cause I'm still paying mine, so it ain't your fault, cause you ain't been taught. But how you gonna run and flip around the track when you can't even walk? Take off the training shoes and get spiritual, lyrical, see? I drop jewels like a fool in a robbery. Pick them up, give them to my beneficiary, see? Jewels should be used to keep you legendary and keep you alive so your name won't be found in the obituary. Send the nigga back to the essence, they peasants. I'm the freshest, back to apply pressure. Put the mic down. Walk away before you might have had a chance, but not today. In these drastic days and times that we living in, niggas get blown to oblivion. KY Jelly, lubricate the dildo. Most of these rap niggas wear those sweet water jello, trying to monetize the ghetto. I jump out the Chevy Camaro with heavy metal like Aerosmith, hieroglyphs in Arabic. I spit dope, nigga heroin, urge seven been a threat. And if you fools choose, you can keep buying fake likes and views on the internet. Look, she had a nice body, I was interested. She said she was poly, I ain't into that. Now she pissed off. Golden showers, bitch, I'm only in town 24 hours. No cell phone signal, no shower. Six blunts, four shows, and... Okay, 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 okay. Come yeah. on, man. Come on, man. My man earned seven, man. Give it up for cornbread. Started yeah. wild. <laughs> oh, I'll give you one more. Yo, look, one more. Let's go. Let's Yo, go. go. I'm a ninth thief of being, being wise. I see it through the smoke, smoke mics, make dykes, won't dick trick, daddy's here, fear no more. Where the whore out in the back of the house, near the door, revitalize my light within, using the sun. Plus I give medicine better than Tylenol While y'all all fall into a trance I'm giving y'all never stall like a urinal Borrowing blades from Sonya to cut you down Then switch blades to bombs to blow the town down Screams and cries is heard in surround sound It's all too common when me and Urge get down like that Like that, yo. 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 I hit you with a couple like that, like that. Recording artist, movie star, activist Still grab the microphone, spit the nastiest uh -huh. And I ain't that no nigga Cut the line, niggas get flipped on, flip mode, bust the rhymes, heavyweight. I do this shit every day. 16 bars kill everything on your resume. I'm hardcore. 
You dudes winnie poo Shoot you 22 times with a 22 We smoke good Eat good Fist full of dollars Clint Eastwood <laughs> Yeah Give it up man My man Earth 7 yeah. My man Cornbread Yes sir Make sure you get the new album It's called Natural Intelligence yep. Natural Intelligence Go on the platform Cornbread yes. Underscore of Underscore Cali Wild Yes sir And I want to give a shout out to Knotts Knotts is on production Yes I got wow. my man The Real Aesthetic I'm working with this brother Named Divine Drums right now Man, I got Craig G on the album. Wow, that's my Shout guy. out to Craig, Craig G. G South Central Cartel is on the album. Wow, SCC. Yeah, man. West Coast Cam is on the album. Okay, yeah, Cam. Yeah, Cam. Solomon Cam. Child. Cam. Solomon, Solomon Child. Child. Solomon uh -huh. Child. Solomon. And Natural Intelligence Part 2 is coming because this is a forever album. Okay. So Part 2 Part two will be available in December. So once you get that coin, you could just keep... It's, it's a forever thing. It's yeah. a forever thing. And, and, and peace, to, peace to AG from Showbiz and AG. We, we got some joints, too. That's my guy. All yeah. that. That's family, D-I-T-C. Give yes. these guys a round of applause. Earth 7, thank you for coming by. Cornbread, thank, thank you, you brother. Love you. love you. Tell the family love we too. love them, okay? We'll do. All right. Heather B, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. No, thank y'all. Really thank y'all. Thank you.